little smoky river, you've been good to me. From every fallen timber, be a strong standing tree. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, it's Dusty Tucker. I basically just want to do a quick little video on thanking you guys for the 500 subscribers. I didn't expect to ever get this far. And it's kind of interesting how it just slowly keeps accumulating as time goes on. I think I've been doing videos for over just over two years now. And I only started this as a hobby. And it's it's still a hobby. But it might get to the point where I have to start putting a little bit more time and um, I'm not, I would say effort, but I've been putting a little bit of effort into my videos. It's not like it's, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that eventually I might step up and actually get a GoPro or something so I can get some better camera footage. So you guys don't always have to see my left as my right sort of thing. But um, that's something that I might purchase later on in the in the future here i kind of been looking at different cameras and stuff like that to use for video and whatnot um the reason i like using my phone is because i can see what's in the frame um with a regular camera you have to kind of guess and hope it's in the frame and then do your video and then look back and check it to make sure everything you wanted was in the shot and everything i like my phone because i just flip it to the forward or, or yeah forward facing camera or reversed facing camera I don't know which I think it's reversed so you can see yourself on your own screen so you know what you're filming and that's just the way I've been doing it because I know what's in the shot like I can see this all the way from here and all the way to here is all in shot but I wouldn't know that if I was just using a GoPro or whatever um, this is a knife that I had recently finished just a tiny little knife um, I'm not sure what made me want to make this. I just kind of, I was in the shop and I had a really old chisel. Like it looks like it was maybe from the 30s or 40s. And I decided that I was going to flatten it out on my um, anvil, which is just my railroad track there. And I started, stamp I started stamping my knives um, DF for Dusty Forge or Dusty's Forged, whatever you want to call it. But uh just to see where it goes like this is another hobby of mine that I don't know for those of you guys that are just joining this channel I I like to make knives here and there and I like to tinker with that kind of stuff but again this is just a thank you video and my lots of my videos are just kind of rambling about random stuff and everything like that like um, one thing I've been noticing noticing that I forgot to do update videos on was my CRKT um, folder that I had repaired and this is still the same one. It's uh, still functioning. I had to do another um, fix on it. I had to put a couple of welds on the back pieces here because they had broken off right in the in the thin point. Um, I had, it had fallen off and I think I drove over it with my truck <laughs> not realizing it and then I went back and looked for it. I'm surprised I found it in the snow. And uh, I found it. I've only had this knife <laughs> for two years and it's just beat to hell. Like it's <laughs> folding knives just don't last. Like this thing is just haggard. It has a little bit of a wobble to it, but I don't know if you guys remember the video or not, or if you've seen the video that I welded and fixed the main because the main uh, screw had come off and fallen off just from dropping on my tile floor. Less than... From my pocket so three feet from my pocket to the floor the head of the screw broke off and there was no way that i could tighten it so i decided to put it all together and kind of tack weld it and then grind it flat and put the handle back on and kind of glued it back on loctited these two rear ones not that that matters because they broke later anyway <laughs> so i welded those this thing's been through hell and back and it's been a workhorse so, I mean, I don't want to give credit to CRKT because it broke like within three months that I had it. But now that I've welded it and everything, it is a tank. It's a, I've used it in the woods for splitting wood um, like this with a hammer, with a 
makeshift hammer that I've made in the woods to split wood. I've used it for so many. I use it every day and I use it for work too as a box cutter and it's a it's a workhorse. Now that it's welded, it's solid. It's I haven't had an issue since the last time I welded it and that was about 3 months ago. So that's that's just whatever a little update on that. Um I like to make my knives so they're able to throw like hold on let me back up here i like to keep the shine the, the spine a little bit sharp because it'll like it'll throw i actually almost set my carpet on fire <laughs> but i like to keep the backs of the spine sharp for if i uh, were to ever sell these but not so sharp where they'll actually cut you but really sharp so if you strike a ferro rod It'll just throw sparks. That's insane. So, I don't know. I haven't made a sheath for this one yet. I usually have a friend that makes the leather sheaths for me, for my knives. Like it, it kind of, it's like a three finger knife. I call it a three finger knife and then you can have your thumb on the back. So you can use it as like a carving knife or a patching, a patch knife or whatever, but it's just a cool little small. It was kind of tedious working with the little wood handles, as you can see, like, Look at my finger and look at the, it's a small blade, but it's it's a really cool one. I actually really enjoyed making this little guy. But anyways, once again, I just wanted to thank you guys for the 500 subscribers. And uh, I'm just trying to look around me and see if I can update you guys with everything. I kind of do little progression videos as I go. Um, I haven't been doing much blacksmithing videos on my channel because I haven't really been getting a lot of people that have been interested in that section of my hobby slash crafting youtube channel which is what this is kind of all about everything from cowboy action knife making some truck stuff i don't think i've done anything really touched base on the videos with that yet um but i've been on hold for a while now so and then there's bushcraft stuff which i have touched a little bit on uh and i'm just trying to feel where people seemed to like more the unboxing one seemed to hit pretty good which was nice and that was the first time i was able to actually do an unboxing video for you guys on youtube which was really cool and the first time i shot it was with you guys as well so i think that's really uh it's really getting involved with um with you guys as well which is pretty cool um before i go I just want to say Merry Christmas because it just so happened that when I was <laughs> filming my other video, it was two weeks or a week and a half before Christmas. And I didn't realize that when I, by the time I edit it and post it, it was going to be like on Christmas Eve. So I kind of feel bad for not saying Merry Christmas on that video, but I just didn't think of it as it would land on that day. So when I posted it, and then the first comment was uh, Merry Christmas and I kind of felt like an idiot. Uh, I wanted to say it, but Merry Christmas. It's going to be late now, but Merry Christmas to everyone, all my followers, everybody that watches these videos <laughs> and happy holidays and happy new year. Maybe I'll post it before the new year. So that'll actually, <laughs> that'll actually be a part of it. And I probably won't be able to do a shooting video anytime relatively soon because Right now it is minus 36 before wind chill. With wind chill it's minus 42 and that being plugged in. It was plugged in and it still barely started. I like just, it's so freaking cold. And I won't be able to do a shooting video for a while because this cold weather is supposed to be sticking around for a while. Um, I'm just glad I was able to get the 1851 shooting video in for you guys before it got cold, so. Well, 